uh, there's that old saying, you get what you pay for, and mm -hmm. apparently that applies to your food delivery. DoorDash, one of the big online delivery mm -hmm. services, they said today, Cynthia, if you don't tip your driver when you order, mm -hmm. you'll be waiting a long time for your food now. Interesting. I mean, I automatically trip, tip when I order. Like, I, I do just too. do. But this feels like you have to now. I was doing it willingly. Basically, the driver, when they accept the order, will be able to see, is there a tip on it or not? So it stands mm. to reason they would accept the ones with tips more than the ones without. Therefore, if you don't tip, the wait time might be longer. DoorDash does say the vast majority of its customers do, in fact, leave a tip, but they say they believe that the driver should have the power uh, and the ability to see oh, is, is there a tip before they go ahead and, and complete the order. I mean, in fairness, that's how they make their money. 100%. The tips. So I, I don't begrudge them that. They, they are hard workers. They're out there in the rain and the cold, and um, I think they deserve it. And they're it. bringing us our food. But definitely. it's not cheap. The, the food delivery, there's a lot of extra fees. It's not a cheap thing to, to do nowadays. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so we were in what we call scrums, where all the reporters today surround a minister and, and ask questions. And today we were in a scrum with NDP leader Merritt Stiles. And I saw Richard's eyes go boing when she said something because she talked about she wants the Ford government to tackle the rising price of groceries. Yeah, which we talk a lot about here in the in the business report, and it's something the federal government has been looking at, at tackling. And the question is, is there anything the provincial government could do on this? We are going to see tomorrow the fall economic statement, the mini budget. Will be anything? Will there be anything in there to help with grocery prices? Uh, interim Liberal Leader John Fraser says he wants the Ontario Competition Bureau involved, speculating he is. The price fixing may be going on, much like we saw with bread years ago. Well, uh, NDP Leader Marit Stahl says she wants Ford to haul the grocery CEOs into his office. Take a look. Interesting. I look at prices. There's profit taking. Is, is what's happening there as a result of people getting together and saying, hey, we'll do this and you do that. It's happened before. I mean, I don't think it says that it'll never happen again. I think that they could be talking to a lot of those companies that they've given major handouts to uh, about the need uh, to adjust and control grocery prices. On the federal level, uh, the companies, grocery companies, have promised to do something, but the details of which haven't been forthcoming, and the Trudeau government is uh, prompting the uh, grocers to come out with a comprehensive report tomorrow, actually, on what they're, what they're doing. Uh, I would doubt there'd be anything in tomorrow's mini-budget about this. I, I don't think so, but it was fun to watch you in the scrum because you were like a dog with no, a bone on it. You were like on it. It's something everyone's talking about right Definitely. now. Well, it's expensive yeah. to buy food. Okay, last but not least, your watch, your future watch, may do more than just tell time. Uh, a lot of reports in today on what the new Apple Watch coming out next year will feature. Bloomberg News says for the first time, Cynthia, it'll have a blood pressure sensor. Really? Interesting. To let you know if your blood pressure is up or down. It won't tell you exactly what it is, though, although Bloomberg says uh, Future Watch will give you the specific systolic and systolic uh, blood pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, next year's watch also reportedly will feature a sensor to detect sleep apnea. We have breathing problems when you're ah, sleeping. So they're going after our health. Wear your watch to show your health. Yes, and what's more, there'll reportedly be a service you can pay for that'll give you specific health recommendations based on the data coming out of the watch.